Hey all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video we are breaking down StarCraft II, the Terrans again, aka the humans. This is where you get to meet Nova. This is called New Folsom, aka Breakout, or A Ghost of a Chance. So this is where you get to choose between Tosh and Nova. I think um, last time I played this, I played it with for Tosh, but I, you can go back and play it for Nova. Depending on which one you pick depends on the timeline and stuff. And so when I get to the very end of this, I'll probably replay this again and go through and try different choices next time that are not the same as like this run through. That way you guys get to see the difference like for Safe Haven instead of like exterminating the colony trying to save it or like this one you pick Tosh instead of Nova so keep an eye out for that I will probably when I get time run through and play those as well so we're gonna have a bunch of cutscenes and stuff here in a minute ah commander Rayner I thought we might discuss the expedition to char now this is a dangerous game you're playing kid what's your stake in all this Jim I really think we should I can see why my father wants to kill you. I asked you a question. Everyone wonders if I will be as good an emperor as my father. But I want something more. To prove that I will be a better emperor and a better man. That shouldn't be hard. If I reform the worst mass murderer in history, make her human again, teamed with the famous outlaw Jim Raynor, that's all the proof I'll need. So I'm just a cog in your machine. If it gets you what you want, do you care? Guess I don't. So on this one, you'll see that I've got, it's a little bit longer. What I did was I did one initial playthrough, but then I realized that I messed up and didn't do some of the objectives and stuff. So I went back and ran it through again. That is going to be at three times speed and it's not going to have like any game sounds. So you won't, you'll just be able to watch and I'll do a voiceover for that to show you like what I did differently, some different walkthroughs and stuff that I had done to play it again. Um, to try and get some of those extra objectives because there's a few ghosts and stuff that are on there or specters that you're trying to take out that I missed last time or different things that I wanted to try differently. So this is kind of like a bonus episode where you get two playthroughs in one video and then um, if you know once you get to the score screen if you want to end out there at like 26 27 minutes in then go ahead and dip out there um, because the second playthrough starts after that and then there's some cutscenes at the very end of this which is why this video is a you know a little bit longer um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that there I'm leaving all the cutscenes at regular speed and then all the other pieces and stuff are at two times speed so that that way I can get through the footage a little faster Folsom is ripe for the taking, man. Every voice that was ever raised against Minsk is pinned up inside those walls. We let all them prisoners loose, and he'll never know what hit him. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. Where's Tosh? I thought he'd be here by now. He already left the ship. I thought you... Sir, we have an incoming transmission. It's highly encrypted. Patch it through. Well, well. The infamous Jim Raynor. My name is Nova. We should talk. Now what would one of Menk's pet ghosts have to say to me? Tosh is lying to you. Get Tosh on comms. I'm sure he's listening in anyway. Encrypted or not. We Spectres be the future. You just couldn't handle it, little girl. Every ghost that became a Spectre has gone on a psychotic killing spree. The ones I've captured are held in New Folsom. Don't listen to her, brother. Help me bust the Spectres from New Folsom. And we'll bring down Minx together. 
Tosh wants to reactivate his Spectre buddies, using the substances you helped him collect. New Folsom is full of psychopathic killers. Do you really want to release them into the galaxy? I be helping you against Minsk, and my people will too. She won't even join you. He's a psychotic time bomb. He'll be on your side, right up until he puts a knife in your back. This be the moment of truth. Make your choice. Okay, guys, so here is where you would choose the difference between helping Tosh and helping Nova. I made sure to like zoom in on this so you could see what you get from each person. Tosh gives you specters, Nova gives you ghosts, and the different things that each of the people also give you as like a bonus. Plus, there's the Nova storyline that um, you can also buy and, and do and whatnot. Uh, but there isn't one for Tosh, which I found that kind of interesting that... Um, you know, Tosh didn't get his own storyline like Nova did. So anyways, hopefully that this information on the screen is helpful. We're fixing to jump into like the little cutscene and stuff for the preview before we load. And then we'll jump right in. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are ready. I'm helping Nova. It don't matter how much you hate Meng's Tosh. If you and your specters are as bloodthirsty as it sounds, you're as much of a threat as he ever was. I'll be seeing you real soon. You'll regret this, brother. All right, Nova. What's your plan? Tasha's Spectre facilities are on Avernus Station. Join me there, and we can shut it down for good. Uploading tactical data now. So, this is where Tosh plans on building his Spectre army. I've identified three facilities that are vital to his operation. Our first target will be the Jorium stockpile. Next will be the Terrazine tanks. And finally, the psionic waveform indoctrinator Tosh uses to complete the Spectre's activation process. All right. So we destroy all three of those targets, and Tosh is out of business. Tosh knows every trick in the book when it comes to infiltration. I can penetrate most of his defenses, but I'll need your backup to get through them all. And what about Tosh? Just leave him to me. I've cleared a landing zone for your forces. Let's get this party started. Nova here. Strictly business. Acknowledged. Okay, here we go. Stay sharp, boys. Tosh might have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Loud and clear. On the move. I'll make it happen. Executing. I'm pinned down over here. Help a girl out and take down those guys on top of the cliff. By the numbers, boys. Yes, sir. Say again? We could use some help here. Acknowledged. En route. Got it. Loud and clear. All right, so once they get the I'll gate open and whatnot, the biggest thing I want to recommend happen. is that you, like, Strictly use business. your R on those people and, like, take them out. Executing. Don't get close enough for where that tower can actually hit you because if the tower can see you, then they will, um, 
Yeah, see, I just restarted. Because, like, th if you take too much damage, it's a problem. So I had to restart a couple of times because, like, wait a minute, what am I doing wrong? And then I realized what I was doing. So the good thing about this kind of mission or with any of these missions is that if you screw up bad enough, you can always just restart and learn from your mistakes rather quickly. And that way, like, if you notice you're towards, like, you know, the, the beginning of it and you're like, ah, crap, I needed to go do this or I needed to do that or I should have built this first. This is like the easiest way you can do stuff. Just, just restart it. It's not a big deal, you know? And, you know, it, it saved me a lot of frustration over the years playing this game that I could just up and just restart it. So I found that that was like easy to do and the here. other thing is is that you have to send those people in first so that they're taking out some of the other stuff up ahead? and then you take out the guards here. but you need to make sure that you wait for your r okay, to, to cool go. down and then just kind Stay of keep sharp, those boys. guys down there on the Tosh ground save your r for when they're up above that way you're not like wasting it on them and oh, then boy, send those so. guys in to slowly take out a little at a time oh, yeah. allowing your healers to keep up with the healing that they need to do for their people need your help before with this gate, they Nova. run Relax. out of like stamina I just need to take out or the gate their healing the ability side. because you need them to take out see that that marker on the ground that's what you're trying to avoid if you are standing in that marker for that guy to see you Got it. you're kind of screwed so you kind of have to stay out of the orders. way of that. And then once Confirm you get that, that gate control open, then those other troops can help you. But you'll lose a whole See? lot less troops nice if you move easy. them a Let's little move. at a time in Not order here. to get right them to that gate. Just kind of I'm bump here. them up a little at a time. And send in Nova because as long as she's not in detection range, then you're good. And save your R for when you've got somebody that's either that's at a further distance or at a higher elevation. Okay. Whoop. Yeah. See? See all those nice little circles? You have to wait for your troops to take out some of that stuff. And so um, as long as you've got the other people there to back you up, Careful. like the healers and whatnot, that's ahead. where you can go and I can get go close ahead enough. and I can telepathically work around the those. Crew. But that ranged guy, Advancing yeah, on you need to take Say again. out because he can't see Nova if you take out the tower first. But you can take over I mean, him. And then once he's destroyed, you take over that Raven. Now, the ranged guy is really great to have, um, but the thing is, is that I really wanted the Raven, so that way you can throw down like turrets and stuff, because that is a more effective in the long run. And I kind of was stupid when I moved the siege guy. Instead of like moving him first and then sending in the ground troops, yeah, I didn't do that. I just kind of went gung ho and sent them all in and just kind of got them all murdered. So um, don't do what I just did. Send him in first. Let him be ranged and pew pew stuff at a distance. That way he has the ability to, to damage that stuff at a distance. And see, I'm like playing chicken with her, but I couldn't see him. So that's why I had to bring everybody else closer so that I could take out one of that specter. And if you look at the top right, it says specters remaining here is zero. That's what you want to see. You want to be able to see that, you know, you've completed all the mission objectives for that map. And um, it really does help keeping an eye on that. And that was one of the things that I made a mistake on when I get towards the end of this. I missed a few of the specters. Our next target is the Terrazine tanks. I'll clear a landing zone for you. Get ready. So I guess the old adage goes, do as I say, not as I do, because, um, whoops. So once you get say there, again. if you look the top corner, it says there's three remaining specters you have to take out. Um, once you get your Raven and stuff, send your Raven in just a little bit at a time. Don't like rush it that way. You can go in and see things. The Raven allows you greater visibility. And then that way you can um, take out the extra troops and whatnot. So you need to be able to go over on the other side and like drop a turret. So don't waste your turret time to like drop stuff there. Send your little guy over so that it can destroy the generator. But you have to be careful to like get close enough but not too close to drop it. 
And of course, because I used all of all of my resources in order to, you know, take over stuff over there, I was like, ah, crap. So do a little bit better at planning than I did because I had to go, oh, crap, and, and drop a turret and then run off and wait for one to refresh and then I could drop a turret off. Oh, and then they gave me Reapers. Yeah, um, you can also use Reapers to get over there. And like, I totally the gate's forgot. open. Let's make some noise. Confirm that last. Strictly business. Acknowledged. Got no pain. Don't need something to load up. I'm sending down another raven. Nobody here. On route. Also, be careful going up ahead because the um, they will drop a basically a nuke on you you want to send your ranged guys in but not close enough so that it can be hit by the other ranged guy so you need to send a raven in drop a turret in where that siege tank is close enough to it that it can't get destroyed because right now all he's going to do is just blow that away and then your basically little turret guy is worthless so either you can run in and like snipe him or wait and send in a raven and drop a turret on his head um, that way you can pew pew him at once. Also, I don't know why my siege tanks and stuff were not picking up everything. Um, like I was running in trying to grab them, like kind of to pull them, pull them away. But they just, they were not acquiescing to my request. I was trying to get them to come hither and then they didn't, they didn't come hither. Also, keep an eye on the spectre count. There's like one up ahead, but there's also a couple across the bridge. You need your reapers to get over there. Don't let your reapers all get killed. And this is where the nuke is, so be careful about that area. I have a prison for you, Mr. Rena. Be start running. Yes! No here. On route. So if you go back to that little platform where the siege tank was on there, go ahead and across the way is where the other little sniper guy is that you got to take out. That's the one that I was talking about. You need to kind of go back and get because of the fact that um, you need your reapers to go get it. And of course you need your siege tank to pew pew the guys up above and um, whatever's ahead. Don't, don't send your raven in like I just did because that's kind of dumb. Um, you, you don't really need to do that and of course there is you've got reapers use them um, just keep a close eye on them because they're gonna get all shot to hell because of the siege tank that's at the back of that that i totally didn't even pay attention to so i just lost all of my reapers and now i can't go and do what i need to to kill all the specters and stuff here because my dumb butt didn't even think about it the ravens and stuff, you can use them. If you look, you can see where the specters are. You can send your raven over there to drop a turret on him and just let the turret, like, take him out that way. That's, like, the smartest move that I can tell you to go do. Don't do not do what I was doing with the back and forth crap here because it's, it's really not logical. And you want to take your little siege tank. See, I just realized, oh, okay. So, um, I'm sending my siege tank up here, which is not what you should be doing. And, and of course, don't waste your turrets because, again, it, you need you need those. You don't need them pew pew and stuff on that platform just yet. You need to go over there where that little thing is. And there's people over there that you got to take out that can attack everything else. So you have to be careful. And now you have no energy in order to drop a turret because your raven just your other raven just got blown up. And so you're like, well, crap. You need, hey, you need your healer over by you, dummy. Bring, bring your healer closer. Well, so Nova has lower hit points and she needs healing, but yet, um, I went and, and did the other thing instead. So yeah, dumb again. And you see, there's where the specter is. And I'm like, okay, so how do I send my raven over there? Because there is an aerial turret right there that can take out my raven. And it was really poor planning on my part. So I send my siege over to try and take stuff out. But see, I can't... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Use your nuke that you're supposed to use on the other platform over there to, like, take the, the you know, take it out. But, you know, whatever works, I guess. Because, like, I totally forgot. And I should have done that, like, earlier. But, like, I didn't because I got all my Reapers killed. So, yeah, that was, like, piss poor planning. Yay me. Um, so, again, do as I say, not as I do. Because of the fact that um, 
you know, it's just, it's one of those things that you want to like keep an eye on. And I made some, some pretty big blunders. Like there's a turret behind, don't send your raven over there. You're going to get shot at, see? And Nova, what are you doing? Are you picking your nose? Come back over here. Now, why'd you have to go and do that? You're testing me, brother. Testing me hard. Good job, Jim. One more to go. That sign doctrinator's heavily guarded. Nuking is going to be our best bet. Air cab has arrived. Give us a target. All right, so on this map is where I didn't kill all the specters, I believe. I think this is why I had to restart it like I did before because of the fact that there are five specters here and it shows you on the map where they all are. But I'm not always that bright when it comes to, you know, figuring that stuff out. So, um, yeah, this is, again, do as I say, not as I do because you'll see that I made a lot of mistakes on this. Um, you know, I took over the siege tank, which I, which is not a bad idea, but then when you go across to this next little platform, you need to send your siege tank up close enough so that it, never mind, um, it just got blowed up. So, whoops. Um, so now I have to go find something else that I can command. So I did, and it instantly got blowed up. So let's see, I'll just command this guy and let him pew pew stuff. And then I'll send him over to pew pew more people because I didn't realize that I should have looked out for that other siege tank. And I could have cloaked my, my what's it guys, but I didn't. Um, so, oh, now he's dead. Now I gotta go get another one. Um, I had a lot of issues with getting and keeping okay. people this round and that was like the biggest frustration for me was the fact that I had to keep finding people that I could command because um you know you go in here and then you let that you know monster just you know rampage and blow stuff up and and whatnot which is you know what he's what he's good at what it's what he's there for but then I didn't take into account, okay, I've got all these other turrets and stuff I need to take out. Maybe it would have been best to, like, mind control him. Instead of letting him just kind of wander off and murder stuff, I should have, like, mind controlled him and took out that entire platform right there first. And then, like, let him go. Like, put him back over where um, he would need to be to either take out that Thor or whatever or take it over the Thor. And then use that to blow up a whole bunch of stuff. So there's a lot of different ways that you can play this. A lot of different things that you can do. Of course, there's that raven that's going back and forth. And as you can see, my hit points are a little lower. And I'm waiting on a what's it to recharge so that I can take over the um, the raven that's, that's flying back and forth. Plus, I have to go over there to that nice little green icon sitting on the ground. So it's kind of like I'm just kind of sitting here scratching my head waiting on stuff to finish but yet I can't really do much at this point until I have enough resources in order to cast that spell again. So I'm just kind of biding my time and there it is now I can grab it. But it's like okay so now he's over there shooting all my stuff and I'm like oh shit. So I could, there was a lot of different ways that I could play this and I didn't and I was like, well, shit, Whoop, can't do that. So of course now that little guy's over there just sitting there going doo, 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 and I just lost um, all my little cloaking guys that I could have cloaked, but I didn't. So I'm like, well, shit, now I gotta go back and there's the raven gone. So I'm like, okay, so now I have to go in and pew pew these guys with my R one at a time, which is very frustrating because I didn't nice. time this out right. I didn't do a very good job on this map. Loud and clear. Keep me covered while I hack into this nuke silo. <sighs> Should just take me a f There. Oh, and just a heads up, on the second playthrough here in just a minute, um, I do just kind of put music behind things just so you guys are aware because I didn't want to do a voiceover over that entire segment right there. So just enjoy the music um, while it plays for that segment. And then, of course, now I take over the guy that's rampaging and then I can go destroy stuff. And 
just use that rampaging guy to to do this stuff You're and right, then we'll take over the thorn. A well-placed nuke would wreak some serious havoc on those defenses. Cuz you can let this guy go go running in and beat up stuff cuz he's pretty tough and then you have the ability to go and take over that thor guy as soon as I have enough resources to go capture him under that like restricted banner right there. Just wait to go capture him once the other guy dies. That way it saves you a whole lot of time and resources. And, you know, I've got four specters left and I don't think I completed all of them on this one. I think that's why I went ahead and replayed it. Plus I was like, ah, oh, shit, I made a bunch of different mistakes. So I was like, let me just re-record this. I'll just do all the playthroughs and stuff. We're fixing to win this anyways. We're at the like last leg of this, but like I didn't take everything out. There was a lot of ways that I could have done this better. So that's why I was like, I will just go and do this better and we'll see. And I'm using my um, Vikings there to like scout and see what's around and getting a little too close for comfort with some of these like, um, some of the things that I had available. And I don't know why I just did that when that costs resources and I needed that for my Thor guy. And I'm like, what are you doing? So there's a lot of mistakes I made here. Please don't do as I did in this one. Uh, watch the second playthrough here and see what you guys think. And as you see, I deleted the sector, but like there's still one left, dummy.
All right, that is it for the second playthrough. What do you guys think? Um, did you like how I handled stuff better this time than I did last time? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. There's going to be a few cutscenes, and then this is basically the, the video for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoy these. I still have several more that I have to get edited, so I'm slowly working through them. Working two different jobs, well, technically three different jobs, 40 plus hours a week. It's literally killing me. And this migraine won't go away and leave me alone. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Enjoy the cutscenes, and I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye. Transmission coming in. Tosh. Didn't take long for him to gloat. Patch him through. You gotta be for that man. Is that supposed to be me? You gotta be great crossing me. Scumbag, Tosh. I've spent my whole life fighting men like you. Uh, <laughs> you and me, we're just the same. We'd both do anything to get the job done. No, you don't get it at all. And now, you never will. What you gonna do, man? I'm six light years away. Not me. Cold and efficient. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Glad you're not after me. Not today, anyway. I'll see you around, Jim. Don't you ever meet any normal girls? Nova transmitted the ghost training specs to us, sir. We should be able to field our own ghosts now. If Minx finds out, she's gonna have some explaining to do. I think she can cover her tracks. That's what ghosts do, right? That and cut people's throats. Right. That little Nova chick was something else. You ever think about hitting that, Jimmy? Oh, <laughs> that girl's nothing but trouble, Tychus. She's got her hands full hunting down the rest of Tasha's psychopathic specters. Best just to stay out of her way. That wasn't no answer. All these missed opportunities. There's something very wrong with you, ma'am. This is Kate Lockwell, live for UNN. Dominion security forces are telling us tonight that their agents have hunted down and executed the leaders of a subversive rebel group calling itself Project Shadowblade. Great news, Kate. 
Did they say how they feel about this? Uh, no, Donnie, they didn't, but I imagine they're quite happy. There you have it. Dominion Security, destroying the shadowy espionage arm of Jim Rayner's terrorist organization. Wait, what? Dominion Security didn't say anything about Rayner. Let's go to commercial. Take your shot at life. Eye pistol. Nova promised us access to ghost technology for helping her. She come through with it yet? Your girl came through all right. I got a few new upgrades we're working on too. She ain't my girl, Swan. Hmm. Scary female assassin type that's gonna wind up trying to kill you someday? I don't know, Hotshot. She sure seems like your type. Hey, you ignorant stupid. 